Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Today, a very special unboxing because I am not sure what's in this medium flat rate box from Tampa, Florida. I know there's liquid in it. People hated when I shook the box when I uh, unboxed Chewy. Oh my gosh, comments, comments, comments. Anyway, this box clearly is uh, expensive because it's fragile, it's Italian. <clears throat> I wonder what's in it. We should probably open it and find out. Got the man knife. Looks like a nice styrofoam liner, which I don't put styrofoam in the summer in my liner, in my boxes, because uh, it's hot as you know what. Well, I see some fishies. Looks like two females. They're guppies. <clears throat> and one male. Now this is supposed to be some blue-green something. I gotta look and see what it is. Somebody on one of the Facebook guppy groups had them for sale and they were cheap enough for me to buy and give a chance. I like these bags. I love the sound of the bag. When I used to watch all of Corey's uh, unboxing videos from the wholesale shipments he got for the store. Those Sarah bags with the rounded corners make the best noise. I know, that's weird, but what can I say? Yeah, all right. So, here's what we do with fish that get shipped in. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the box and I'm gonna reuse it, probably when it gets colder, because I do like this styrofoam liner. We're gonna put the box off to the side, but let me show you what I do in case you missed the many videos I did on plop and drop. That's my preferred method of acclimating fish, especially if they've been mailed. Now, these fish have been in my house for a while. Uh, I'm not really worried about temperature acclimating them. It's about 75 down here, 70, 75.4 down here, which means the tanks are all about somewhere between 73 and 78, I would say. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter. So these fish are gonna go right into a tank. I have a tank that was empty this morning that now will have water and fish in it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna plop and drop. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I do, exactly what I mean when I plop and drop. So here's the thing, right? We're gonna cut, there's two bags. Looks like he's stuck in a corner somehow. How did he get stuck in a corner? That's why there's two bags. That's interesting. All right. We're gonna plop and drop. We're gonna take our knife. Be careful, don't cut yourself. We open the bag. We pour the water out into a net. So the fish gets caught in the net. The water goes into the bucket. So what happens is ammonia builds up. pH drops and ammonia builds up. But ammonia isn't toxic under, I don't know, like five, five something. But as soon as you open the air, the pH skyrockets. <clears throat> and so does the ammonia, and you basically kill your fish. Now I've plopped them into the net. And I've dropped them into the tank. And that's plop and drop for you. I always like to check the bags in case I miss something. Gotta change the garbage. Then I dump the water. And that's plop and drop, fishy folks. That's it. Hey guys, knife safety. Make sure you put the knife away, especially because this thing looks like it could cut a kidney out pretty easily. Here's what we're gonna do, fishy folks. I'm gonna let those bad boys get acclimated. Sorry, bad trio get acclimated for a few minutes in their tank. Then I'll show you what they look like, and then I'll come back later and show you what they look like again. So why don't you do this? Stand by while they get acclimatized, and I'll be right back. All right, fishy folks. A little more than 12 hours later in the tank, uh, I added some java moss that, uh, quite frankly, came to me almost dead and really hasn't recovered in the three or four weeks I've been trying, or more, I forgot really how long it is, but you can see the guppies here. They're not as colorful as I thought they were gonna be. They're, they're really dark uh, blue. I thought they were gonna be more light green, so. My fault for not asking for better pictures, but we'll see what happens as they breed. They seem to be doing all well. They are shaking a little bit, which I'm a little concerned of. I've already put meds in the water. Um, 
And so this tank will not get auto water change uh, for about a week as uh, the meds do their work. So they're really not making it easy to film. As you can see, I don't see them anymore. They're in the back, just hiding, so maybe they're camera shy. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Michaelsfishroom.com. Boom, go check it out. All right, fishy folks. You should probably move this so you can see the box. I don't know how I can do that. Maybe they could put the camera over. Hmm. hmm. Nah, let's just leave it like this. <coughs> All right, fishy folks. Happy Sunday, fun day to you. Today, a boxing, a boxing, a boxing. Hiya, fishy folks. That's a sump pump going off. We should probably wait for that to stop. Stand by. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay. <coughs> Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Today, an unboxing. Got this medium flat right box, flat right? fishy folks and happy Sunday fun day to you today an unboxing got this medium flat right I did it again hi fishy folks <clears throat> hi fishy folks and happy Sunday fun day to you hope everyone has in hasing we oi, oi, yeah I know what this calls for hmm. <clears throat> Take 39. All right, here we go. We're going to nail it this time. It's here, fishy folks. The box I've been waiting for. Is it from Italy? It says Fragili on it. Must be Italian and expensive. If you get the joke, let me know in the comments below what movie it's from. This is from Jack. Not Jack Bauer. Not Jack from Pirates of the Caribbean, Jack Sparrow, almost forgot, but Jack Suarez from Florida. What's in the box? Perhaps it is guppies or maybe it is plecos. 